This is One Wild Walnut, and welcome to the only guide you'll need to master the new badges and understand them in the new NBA 2K22 Next Gen games. Like my previous videos, I'm obviously a center. I've made my guy a 7-2 center, inside center, so these badges are gonna be tailored to that. But I'll try to explain as many badges as I can, even the ones I don't use, the new badges in 2K22 that have came out. I'm gonna start with finishing here. And so this first badge, especially as a center, is extremely important to have at least gold, or in my opinion, Hall of Fame. It's gonna take five of these badge points to use. You can get quick layups and dunks way faster than if you didn't have it up. And I think it's very important as a center to get those dunks layups off an offensive rebound, off a quick pass from your guard down low, whatever it may be to get it quick up without getting blocked. The main things you need, in my opinion, on inside center, especially fast twitch Hall of Fame, mouse in the house, at least gold or Hall of Fame. And so this is a new badge this year. This badge will trigger if I go up in the paint and will give me a higher chance of finishing my dunks, my layups over the smaller defender. And this is a great badge added by NBA 2K this year. And so I have this in Hall of Fame. Next badge, been around for years in 2K, is Putback Boss. I have it at Hall of Fame currently. So basically, get that off its rebound. It's going to give you a better animation for layups, better animation for dunks, and will have that higher success rate as well. So you combine that with Putback Boss and, and a mouse in the house. It's a great kind of badge and fast switch, of course, to kind of get quick dunks the best dunks available and increase your chance of making the layup or dunk. Now you can actually have this a little bit higher than bronze. I've been experimenting with it uh, to see kind of if bronze, you know, if silver, gold, and Hall of Fame really do much compared to if you just have it on bronze. I think you need, it's a necessity to have this badge on bronze, especially as a center. With the gameplay this year in 2K, you know, steals are crazy. Especially as a 7-2 center, I'm way slower with the ball. My ball handling isn't a high attribute rating. So this is gonna help me at least hang on to the ball a little bit more than if I didn't have it equipped. These next two, Fearless Finisher and Limitless Takeoff. I only can put them up to bronze, so it's gonna be one badge point to upgrade these, and I think they're very useful. Fearless Finisher can allow me to absorb contact and still finish, and also reduces the amount of energy lost from contact layup. Limitless Takeoff, here is a new badge added this year, is when attacking the basket, a player with this badge will start their dunk or layup gather from farther out than others. So I think on bronze, it's a good badge. Now, Posterizer, um, you might be wondering why I don't have this. And I don't think this year, as far as inside centers go, you need posterizer on anything. You're not gonna get that many contact dunks this year as the gameplay shows, unless there's a patch coming out later this year. Contact dunks aren't that crazy inside the paint. I'm still getting a lot of dunks on my, my player with the badges I've equipped and the attributes I have. Rise up here, I think you needed a Hall of Fame. It gives you the likelihood of dunking the ball in the paint. Obviously, we know how important that is. You got great center pressure, new badge added by 2K this year and that gives a boost for standing shots to have it close to the basket. Don't think of the standing shots as gotta be a jump shot. It could be a layup, it could be a close shot, flick up, floater, those kind of things gives it a high success rate. And with these badges I have now, I have a super high success rate in the paint if I go up. Shooting, as, I, as you guys know by now, or hopefully, I'm not a shooting build center. I'm just mainly an inside, so it's gonna be scoring and dunking inside the paint, rebounding and playing defense. I have up to 16 batch points I can use for my playmaking given on how I made my my player. I think break starter is crucial to go in Hall of Fame. That's been a badge that's been around for years. So after grabbing a defensive board, the outlet pass has made up the quarter more accurate and the passes can be made quickly falling in a rebound. The next badge I have equipped is bullet passer and this is probably the most important badge to have at least to gold. Obviously you can have a Hall of Fame if you have that equipped based on your build and how you made it. For me, I can only get it to gold, but it is still good on gold and you're gonna need it to gold regardless of what build you made, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, pop forward, or even a center. If you have a bullet on silver, bronze, or no bullet, good luck with that. It's not gonna be very good for you. You can kind of play around here with these next four badge points I have, which I have silver dimer and silver needle threader equipped. For here, needle threader is gonna get me to pass through tight windows and also gives a boost to my player's passing ability, which is important. Next is silver dimer. You know, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Been around for a couple of years now. Dimer, one in the half court, passes by dimers to open shooters yield a shot percentage boost. So when I pass out to off an offensive rebound, when I pass out to an open man, and as long as I catch and shoot off this badge or shoot quickly after me passing to them, it's gonna give them a boost on their shot timing and most likely will help them green the shot or even make a white. So that's what I've been using for the playmaking side. Next, 38 possible badge points on this particular center build. You got chase down artist on bronze, pretty self-explanatory. Interceptor, you're gonna be in the lanes, the passing lanes. Um, need it the highest you can get it. My, and for me, is silver. 
pogo stick. I use it on bronze. Just gives me a little bit of extra flexibility as far as when I jump once, I can maybe get a second jump down there in the paint to contest or block point guard centers or whatever else is kind of driving in the paint. I think bronze is plenty of enough to give you that impossible quick second jump. Rim protector, I feel like it's necessary to be on at least gold, Hall of Fame. Improves the ability player to block shots. I think that's pretty self-explanatory as well. Pretty important, especially as a center. Box, need a Hall of Fame. Allows you to hold the box out, be in position, and go grab that rebound. Next, I think is super important to have it on at least gold. In my opinion, Hall of Fame, if you can get it, is Intimidator this year. The paint is crazy, the paint scoring. You could really make a lot of layups down there, even contest the layups, get some quick dunks. So Intimidator allows you to kind of give some contest down there, more so than if you didn't have it on with Intimidator. Next, brick wall. Obviously, this one's been super important and it's just as important this year in 2K. You're gonna set bigger screens, you're gonna get better screen animations, and also it's gonna take more energy off whoever's guarding the ball and whoever you set the screen on. It's gonna take energy and stamina away from them, which is huge. Next badge, which is new to this 2K, is Hustler. I would have it on at least bronze. It improves the ability to beat opponents to loose balls. The loose ball animations can be crazy this year. You're gonna to wanna to be on the right side of those, and so I'd have it on at least bronze, maybe even silver if you can afford it. And the last two are super important as well, especially rebound chaser. Being a center, you need to get the rebounds, you need to be able to chase the rebounds down, and you're gonna be able to kinda of rebound over some smaller centers, some smaller guards, and, and get better rebound animations, which are so crucial. Last, but certainly not least, the Worm Badge. This has been around for a little bit now, and it's when boxed out, rebounders have more success swimming around and getting the successful rebounding position. It will allow me to worm and, and break a lot of box outs, especially those power forwards and guards. It'll allow me to slip around that box and if the rebound comes to me, I'll be able to rebound it and go from there. So I think having a Hall of Fame or at least gold is super important this year. You know, that's just how this game is played out with the inside centers. And so I'll show you guys my attributes. I have my close shot and standing dunk on 99. Interior defense, which goes back to that Intimidator. 99 interior and Hall of Fame, uh, if I go back here, with Hall of Fame Intimidator, super important here, because the pain is so crazy this year as far as making layups, finishing dunks. You're gonna need to be on your A game and have an advantage with your attributes and badges. Then obviously as an inside center, you need a 99 block, 99 offensive rebound, and then 91 defensive rebounding. I felt like it was plenty enough. Obviously it's a slower center build, I'm 7'2", so 63 and 60 excel, and then a pretty balanced across the way here with the strength, vertical, and even stamina, which is important this year. Play around with these badges, see what works with you. This is dependent on your style of play and in what build you have made, what position you have made, and all that. But this is kinda me just explaining the badges, and I appreciate you guys for watching my masterclass on the new badges in NBA 2K22 Next Gen. Be sure to check out more videos and even sign up to compete in some 2K action at compete.playstation.com. Station.